Hello, Jasper fans. Welcome inside the Morrow Broadcast Studio. I'm Jeremiah McCauley with the Jasper Sports Network, and I have the man in the mask between the pipes for the men's lacrosse team, Michael Zingaro. Michael, thank you for joining us today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. That's good to hear. You know, uh, coming off last week, you, you had a great week. You, you were MAC Defensive Player of the Week. T can you tell me a little bit about that honor and what it means to you? Uh, it feels good, but it's a testament to the defense as well. It's not just one person out there. They're the ones in front of me making the stops, picking up the ground balls, and doing everything else pretty much too. Okay. Um, you know, you had 21 saves. Like that, and that, that's what you're supposed to do, stay between the pipes and make saves. But Saturday against N NJIT, you decided to come out between them and score a goal. Can you kind of run us through that play and, and what was going through your uh, head? Yeah, coach gave me the green light to run it up and if our poles were getting tired of doing it. So there was nobody in front of me, so I just ran and ended up in front of the goal. <laughs> no one really picked me up, so I just walked right down to it. And you just, uh, what's, what's, how has that been perceived, I believe? One of the coaches said there's been over 2,000 hits on YouTube so far of you scoring the goal. Has there been any social media? Ah, uh, yeah, my friends tagged me in a bunch of stuff that they've seen. So it's gone around a little bit. That's good. Um, you know, Saturday against NJIT got the last non-conference win of the season. Headed into headed into the really the the bulk of the MAC play for you guys as a team. What can can we expect, and what can you expect from this team moving forward throughout MAC play? It was big for us to get another win under our belts, and I think that we'll use some confidence from it and build off it. We started to click in that game, and hopefully, it carries over into the next. I think we should be fine rolling down the road with it. And you know, you're on a you, currently in the middle of a three-game road trip. You started the season on a four-game road trip, and you're really ending the season four four out of five on the road. Do you think that kind of will play into anything of you having that experience already in the season of playing on the road in back-to-back -back weeks? Yeah, I think we're used to it. I don't think it should affect us much. We've traveled just about everywhere at this point. Okay, thank you for joining us today, and look forward to having you back in the studio. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jasper fans, for tuning in. I'm Jeremiah McCauley with the Jasper Sports Network.